If you press and hold your inventory key, you'll pull out a small backpack which you can attach some of your items. Now, by default, this is I. You can change it to whatever you like. I changed mine to tab, and you can select different items here to quickly access them, like an axe, like a gun. If you hop into your inventory here, and you can put this, combine this with different items, and you can put all sorts of different things on here. You can put an axe, you can put a club, spear, whatever you'd like. Then when you go and hold your button, you'll have those ready to quickly access. You can now hotkey items. Hover over the item you'd like to hotkey and press the corresponding button you'd like to use. You can use 0 through 9. Press 1, we have our knife. Press 2, we have our axe. This is nice to distinguish different weapons, especially if you press F for the flashlight and the lighter comes out. Or if you'd like a little quicker option instead of having to pull out your backpack. The flashlight has a small indicator on the battery on the side of it. When this battery gets low, your flashlight will begin to lose brightness. So your character will change out some batteries as well as you can combine batteries with your flashlight to swap out. If you're building and you put a log in the wrong spot, press and hold C to pick that log back up and then you can put it in the right spot. You can use your drop slash stow key to throw items. This also works for logs, which you can throw right into your storage bins. When using the bow, you can look down to get a symbol. You can press and hold R and you can change the type of ammo you're using. Got some pesty stumps from all the trees you're cutting down? Grab your axe and you can take these right out. Now, a lot more to go. Elvin can wear different outfits. Here he's wearing the white tuxedo. If you go up to him and interact with him, you can scroll down and tell him to take item. Then you can tell him to have any outfit you'd like. Here we have a leather jacket. There is a hoodie. And then his default tactical jacket. I'm sure there's more throughout the game. Right now, I think he's going to roll with a tuxedo to show a little class. Now, also in the wintertime, some of the bodies of water will begin to freeze. This makes for great walkways and natural bridges, but does not mean great to drink out of. You can attempt to break the ice, but to no avail, nothing happens. It does make some water noises, so maybe eventually the devs will add it in. Tired of listening to the radio? Take out your axe and destroy it. This will give you some electrical circuit boards, as well as laptops. If you crouch in a bush, you can hide from enemies. When you crouch, you'll notice the top edges of the screen will get dark and the enemies will have a harder time finding you. He's close. Not close enough. Did you piss off the locals? Hop in the water. They cannot swim. Make them swim. Oh, they still can't swim. You can use water and streams to transport items, bodies, and resources. You can make a quick and easy way to save your game, to sleep through the night, or just some shelter. First, you will need a tarp and a stick. First, you want to grab the tarp, equip that. There will be a red outline where you can place the tarp. You can place this in a cave or you can place it in the wilderness. Then you will need a stick. You can use multiple if you'd like. And you will want to prop up the tarp here. Then this gives you access to save the game and sleep through the night. Now beware, if there's enemies nearby, you cannot save the game. You can utilize the 3D printer in game to print different things such as arrows, flask to carry water, a mask, Grappling hooks, some tech mesh to create armor, and a sled to traverse down steep slopes. Once you befriend the mutant known as Virginia, you can hand her a pistol or shotgun and she will defend you. You can also give her a GPS locator so she will not get lost. She will carry this on her third arm here. She has unlimited ammo and she will protect you when mutants attack. When you befriend Virginia, she will also bring you gifts such as aloe, fish, and some other useful resources. Thank you. When looting, if you press the loot button, you will pick up the item. If you press and hold, you will either equip it or use it if it is a usable item, such as food. If you found any of these tips and tricks useful today, please leave me a like. Check out some of the other videos I've made with the game, or Let's Play, as well as the locations how to find the different items that we go over in the guide. Thank you. Thanks for watching.